evening from Nottingham and it's Goose Fair time here on UK Theme Parks and of course we're better to come, we're better to come then to the massive Goose Fair. So we've done a couple of large fairs this year. We weren't planning on coming to be honest, but something's just drawn me in. Now, we hope to get you as much footage as we possibly can. It's gonna be so, so loud in there. So please don't blame us if you get a lot of just sort of walking about, but we're definitely gonna take you in for the atmosphere. We are definitely gonna take you in for some rides and oh yeah, there's lots of things to ride here, including, including something that I haven't seen before, which I'm going to look for pretty much right now. But yeah, look at this look. It's going to be a few familiar rides we've seen and a few that we haven't seen. Ghost train over the back, got a Miami there, got a Waltzer. There's a booster, that's not one we've done. So it's a pretty much the same um, kind of layout to what we had last year. So we'd be expecting a Matterhorn down here, the Super Bowl, the Extreme, walk around to the freak out ride. Be a freak out over the other side as well. Look at that, look. We sim Rock Rage, we know Rock Rage is here. As we said, Matterhorn's here. Freddy's Revenge. Stunning carousel, stunning noise carousel. Oh, what a beautiful machine this one is. That's a quick looking Super Bowl. And the extreme there. Three pound a ride, not too bad, not too bad. Night, so we're expecting it to get 
dark within the next two hours and we are going to have a stunning fair at night and I've never done goose fair at night it will be the first time I've ever ever done it and you know we've done rock rage quite a lot this year so not overly sure we're going to go back on it but we do want to go on atmosphere I haven't been on that yet this year did that last year we're probably going to miss obviously the you know high amounts of waltzers and dodgems and you're literally going to see sizzlers everywhere there's another sizzler here this one was new last year when we came stunning stunning looking sizzler and you know we're going to miss the ones that we see at home and, and rock rage may fall into that category because it's been generally on the south coast this year so we've been lucky we've seen it quite a lot but look at this holy crap you know what we might do that because the views up there are going to be stunning and there's a little baby one there as well as the roller coaster and of course uh, the king was there last year i have a feeling king's not here this year which is a bit of a shame but i'm not 100 percent sure not 100 percent we really don't know what's here they don't really don't seem to release a lot uh, we want to take you in a new ghost house that's our plan and we might even take you on stargate as well not my type of ride that i like but might take you on stargate jump jumpers here So many rides to choose from. About three pound a ride, quite happy with that to be honest with you. Don't really have any issues with that at a big fair like this. You can see two extreme over the back as well. We'll show you that in a minute. The top scan, we did that in Blackpool this year. So a lot of these rides obviously we've seen and done, whether it be here, whether it be somewhere else. But we are definitely on the lookout for something new. And this sadly, this would fall under that category.
shouldn't be driving. Even Dodgem's guards. Even Dodgem's guards, they shouldn't be driving. So that was my turn. Uh, wow, that thing is that thing is quick and smooth as honestly. It starts off with a nice slow kind of spin. You then hit straight into the upside down and it really leaves you hanging. Really, really leaves you hanging. You then kind of move on from there and it, it literally goes into a full hell program and it's quick. It is proper quick. Really, really enjoyed that. Lovely, lovely, beautiful example of an extreme ride. You know, we see a lot of extreme rides and we've seen some quick ones, really quick ones, and we've seen some not so quick ones. That definitely rates the one the best of them. You're just in there, the two extreme, the top scan ride. We've done that a couple of times this year already. If you want to see that in action, head back to our Blackpool vlog because we won't be doing that again today because we've done it quite a lot. So as we said, there are loads of twisters, loads of dodgems, loads of waltzers. We are looking for the very different kind of rides. And you'll see down the back, actually, that we got Ice Jet down the back. And as you'll see as well as we walk down, loads of juvenile rides. Absolutely loads of juvenile rides. And we might even do one of the coasters this time as well. I've seen loads of these frogs around. Loads of crazy bounces, absolutely loads of them. And of course Ice Jet, the famous Ice Jet is here. Now we might do Ice Jet. I'm not ruling it out, because I haven't done it in many, many years. And I know it's one of the most beautiful rides here. So maybe we will do it, but we still want to have a look down the bottom where the other coaster is. Oh, you've got the Over the Falls as well, the um, booster down there. Just loads, loads to look at. We haven't looked all around yet. We don't know what else is here. We need to get some more rides done. you everything oh okay we can show you that we won't be paying three pound for that today we've got reverse bungee you've got splash mountain of course we've seen that fairly recently another frog hopper crazy wave you see over the falls in the background stunning looking booster stunning looking booster Okay, the 
or crazy shape, King Luke. This usually travels around the Norwich area, around the lower stop area, kind of Pleasurewood Hills for all those theme park fans out there. And yeah, been trying to track this thing down for a long, long time. So maybe it's time to go on it. What do we think? I have no idea what this ride is like. I've never been on these rides before. Yeah. A bit apprehensive about it, not gonna lie to you. But this is definitely one we're gonna do. We're gonna try and take you on board. Three pound 50 this one's commanding a much higher price than the other rides. Now last year, the takeoff was here. No sign of a takeoff this year. Also no sign of Air Max 360, which has obviously been routed at Fantasy Island. I don't think Fancy Island release any of their rides because I don't think Magic Magic is here either, the Hutt ride. So um, yeah, not really sure. You'll also see the York York, which is just right next to us. I don't remember seeing last year. We've seen it this year uh, at the Leeds Valentine's Fair, but it's also here as well, as well as the coaster. And we will go down the bottom and see what else is there. But it might be time for King Luke. I'm already sure to make this ride, but it looks, uh, looks different. I have to say, really don't know what to make of this. Not seen one before. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. A bit apprehensive. Let's see what this has got. Yes, yes, let's go.
Well, right at the top end of the fair now, because it is quiet. It's quiet up here. This is where kind of all the stalls are, and a lot of the juvenile rides are up this end. No real big rides up this bit until you kind of go over there a bit more when you come across the top scan and other rides. So, well, it's a bit carnage down the bottom. First, we did the crazy shake, uh, the king loop. Oh dear, oh my God, that thing moves. Well, I swear to God, I got to look back on it. It felt like a six, seven minute cycle. It went on forever. What amazing value for money at £3.50. That thing was mental, absolutely mental. I've never done one before. I've never seen one before. I wasn't even aware there was one in the UK, let alone one I could actually go and ride. But that thing is stunning, absolutely stunning. That sat where the takeoff was last year. So there's no takeoff, there's no King um, this year either. Uh, there's no Air Max 360, which was down the bottom, but of course we do have Atmosphere. There's no Magic Magic either. So there are a few uh, ride changes for this year, undoubtedly. There are some stunning, stunning looking machines. Right next door to that, you'll have seen some footage of New York, New York. A ride which we've come across um, and uh, did as well. Again, if you want to go back and look at that, that was at the Leeds Valentine's Fair at the beginning of the year. So if you want to go and have a look at that, beautiful ride. But we thought we'd show you it at night because it really excels at night. And in talking about excelling at night, we move just slightly down and come across IceJet. Now, IceJet is a premium price of £4. Uh, King Loops was £3.50. Everything else seems to be £3, apart from obviously the boosters and the coasters. We're going to go check out actually the Magic Mouse and see what the... Um, what the price is of that because I'd imagine that's probably four to five pounds and of course the big wheels as well and the star fly likely be a bit more but yeah I mean it just looks amazing absolutely amazing at night it's a stunning ride it won actually a uh, best ride uh, Goose Fair 2018 you know with New York New York here this year it's not guaranteed but it still looks absolutely amazing then we're going to walk you back into the fair and you'll see how busy it is we seem to be on a thing with busy fairs at the moment and this one is absolutely no different and of course we've got some more rides we want to get on I don't know what, but we've got some more rides we want to get on. We want to get in the ghost train. I saw a new ghost train down by where the king was. And uh, that's definitely one we want to go on. But you'll see here exactly how busy it is. It's proper busy. It's much easier for us to sort of walk through and show you the fair as we go rather than try and do this. Was it busy? I bet it is here. Your worst night. It's just not big enough, is it? Yeah, I'm trying. Which way are you going? Yeah, going down. As you can see, we don't move. <laughs> see the massive starflyer over there. Food. You can buy online 24-7. So the selection of food here is massive, absolutely massive, and it all looks and smells incredible. So much food. So much food. We are on the food bit to be fair. We're heading back down to the rise now. I think we'll switch back on when we get down there. It's just utter carnage up here. Just utter carnage. Look at it, it looks so good. There are rides here, honestly, there are rides here. But this is the atmosphere. If you can't soak it in with the amount of people here, you know, this is the atmosphere. Incredible, absolutely incredible. So we did accidentally leave the fair while looking for food. But I mean, look at the view now. Look at the view. Utterly stunning. So you can see the atmosphere there as well. So we are heading back inside. It's so loud, you can probably hear atmosphere. Seems to be one of the loudest rides here.
loop fighter. It's the only one here this year. And I've said all along, I've said it since I rode it a few years back, it is the best one we have in the UK. And I stand by that. It's the first in the UK and the best we've got in the UK. Stunning, stunning ride. We also went in the ghost train, which you can see over the back there. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see in honesty, but there were actors inside. Not a lot of scenery, but it was voted best side show of 2018. So, not one we've been in. Great to see some actors in them. Yeah, really enjoyed it. I feel like I'm chatting really loudly. I feel like I'm losing my voice, which can't be a good thing. Here's one of the two boosters.
Well, it was a bit of a mad dash there to the bus, not gonna lie to you. So we came out and uh, yeah, this is where we, we literally run to the bus rather than closing it. So that was a goose fair. Insane, absolutely insane. I've had a whale of a time. Uh, I've been saying us, but yeah, I've had a whale of a time. No boys today, tracking along uh, behind me, wanting to go on absolutely everything. And I have picked and choosed the rides I wanna go on, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the ones I don't see very often, the ones I haven't seen at all. You know, there's some new rides for me today, uh, the fighter, I haven't been on that before. Um, you know, stunning, beautiful, beautiful machine. You know, King Loop, uh, the shake, oh my life, that thing is absolutely mental. Really enjoyed that. We then decided to mix it up a bit with the Magic Mouse, because it's not one that we go on very often, to be honest with you. So we thought we'd mix it up a bit with that. And of course, I've been on Atmosphere. I have done Atmosphere before, but stunning, stunning ride. Love Atmosphere. That is the best technical park loop fighter we have in the UK undoubtedly i've always said it and i'm sticking by it as well and then of course we've uh, done the ghost train we thought we'd take you on board the ghost train and um, yeah some live actors in there something different something different uh, we saw quite a few good rides as well you know ice jet uh, ride of the year last year we see new york new york as well rides we've done this year so we're not going to be you know i'm not spending free to five pounds on it again as i said most rides were three pound um, the crazy loop was 350 a couple of the others were 350 atmosphere was actually five pound five pound for atmosphere there's a lot of duplicate rides there a lot of waltzers a lot of twisters a lot of frog hoppers some of them really stand out i mean the mexican wave frog hopper we saw was beautiful beautiful machine with some really stunning lights really really gorgeous thoroughly enjoyed uh you know just spectating on that you've got stargate there doesn't interest me those rides are so painful not saying i'm going to be doing and you know rides like rock rage and freak outs we've seen many many times this year we've been really lucky with rock rage down south that we've managed to get on that you know, sadly, there are some rides missing that we want to go on. There's no KMG Speed this year, which is a bit of a shame. Um, you know, there was no King this year. Wanted to get back on King. Um, I haven't seen that anywhere, to be honest, but it, it isn't here this year. You know, Takeoff isn't there. Magic hasn't come down. I don't think any of the rides for Fancy Island have gone anywhere um, yet. I know they usually do pull them out early, but I, I don't think they have, which is also why we didn't have Air Max 360, which is obviously residing there as well. So arguably a few rides missing, although there has been some come in. Um, you know, your highlight ride has got to be the Shake, which is right down the bottom. You know, Atmosphere is always going to be a crowd pleaser uh, as to Rock Rage. So yeah, amazing time, amazing time. You know, at the end of the day, it is nice to ride loads of rides, but we're on a bit of a budget it costs about 50 pound for me to drive up here and drive home as well so it's not a cheap day out but the atmosphere is stunning you know i spent four or five hours just soaking in the atmosphere and we've had some night stuff as well don't very often get fares at night because we don't usually venture out too far but that was brilliant hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe this is uk theme parks and we'll see you next time